think I got something for the next one. I guess I think I got something for the next one. I'm not gonna yeah. I got something for y'all. I think I think this one might be I think this one might be challenging. I got something. <laughs> Sing for the moment. Ah. Wednesday's reaction. I still haven't really came up with a title. Come soon. I'm gonna think of something. Something gonna pop up. And always does. Doing this one because this one, the poll, as you can see the results, a lot more came out and voted. I appreciate that. Let's keep it going. I got a poll out right now. Make sure you go vote after this video. Last till Monday. I'll take it down. Hmm. Then that song that won will come out on Wednesday. <laughs> I think it's a fun thing to do. All right, so this one won. I don't want to get yelled at again. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. All right. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting my channel. Y'all keep doing that work. Keep bringing y'all this work. Let's get it. <laughs> Video explicit. I give y'all something to watch. I'm gonna catch everything, so you ain't gotta worry about that. Let's get it. These ideas are nightmares. The white camera. Fear is a child with dyed hair and who likes earrings Like whatever they say has no bearing It's so scary in a house that allows no swearing To see him walking around with his headphones blaring Alone in his own zone, cold and he don't care He's a problem child and what bothers him all comes out When he talks about his fucking dad walking out Cause he hates him so bad that he blocks him out But if he ever saw him again he'd probably knock him out His thoughts are whack, he's mad so he's talking back Talking black from rock and rap, he sacked his pants, blue rags and a stocking cap. His stepfather hit him, so he socked him back and broke his nose. His house is a broken home. There's no control. He just lets his emotions go. I'm sorry, I was so indulged into that storytelling, I couldn't bring myself to pause it. Okay, Slim Shady looking like uh, basically uh, they're dressed people trying to be. People, they think they look at hip hop as a disease and they don't like their kid. Wait a minute. That just clicked. Oh, that's deep. I'm replaying the lyrics in my head right now. Hold on. That's deep. Okay, so the way he started off was, was genius. Talk about itself. But. He said, I thought he said, dyed hair and likes earrings, but he's talking about the, the state of hip hop, black culture. But if you're looking at the video, he's showing nothing but white people. So it's like bringing black cultures to suburban neighborhoods. So now that it's affecting white kids, that, blacks, that black culture, it's a problem. Oh, nigga. And since he's the, they say he's the basically the ringleader because he's white, and the, and the white kids can relate to him. He's the pro nigga. Them lyrics is dope. Oh wow. <laughs> It's 
funny how I pause right there. So he's showing all white people in the stance at his concert. So he's affecting them and he's saying like, hey, nigga. That's dope. You know what? I do remember on the news it's like getting a protest and it was all white people right there. Damn. Like, <sighs> this nigga M, bro. When he tells a story, <laughs> stay away from it because it, his storytelling is top notch. Unholy, only have one homie. Only this gun, only because don't only one homie. Everybody That's why he said I only have this gun, only one on me because don't nobody know me. Meaning that you're using the gun to protect yourself. That's it. It's not using the saying it's cool. That's why he said intertwining with gangsters to connect that whole thing. We have to change the intertwining with gangsters. How the niggas rapping about killing and shooting. Nigga, this nigga M M. Oh my God, this is Marshall right here. He's telling the nigga I can't. Got me tweaking. <laughs> this is dope. This is Marshall Matters though. That's what I wanna say. This is this is storytelling top notch. Feels like they can relate. I guess worlds are a motherfucker. They can be great, or they can be great. Or even worse, they can teach hate. It's like these kids hang on every single statement we make. Like they worship us, plus all the store ship us platinum. Now how the fuck did this metamorphosis happen? From standing on corners and porches just rapping to having a fortune, no more kissing ass. But then these critics crucify you. Journalists try to burn you, fans turn on you. Attorneys all gonna turn it through to get their hands on every dime you had. I said that. I said, I just said about them trying to, nigga. I didn't say it like that, but I said, I remember on the news, this nigga. I'm telling you, like, I love listening to the dude because when he, like, especially when y'all give me songs and listen, well, this is about a request because y'all been requesting in the comments. So, the request in the comments, boom, I put it on the list. That's what I do. I will take time from other ones to put on this. Sometimes I don't make the list because I'm going to do the song. Like, there's one dude that's been telling me to do, um, the name of that song. Shady Four? Shady 15? One of them. It's off, it's off the Shady. I'm going to say Shady. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I got you. I'm going to do that. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. I'm going to do it for you. But a lot of the times I'm going to do anyways. That's why I don't be on the list. And some of the songs I just put on the list, like, all right, which one do y'all want to hear the most? And then we just go from there. Just because I put it on the list once doesn't mean it's not going to make it on the list again. I'm thinking about doing a list that's, I, I, I don't want, I, I'm trying to make these lists so it won't be so one sided. You seen this one was so like 48%, something like that. And most of the songs, I got to figure something out. I, I, I have to, maybe I have to Google. His popular songs. I'm gonna make y'all. I'm gonna make y'all battle. I gotta make y'all battle because this is so. This be so lopsided. It's ridiculous. I figure something out. It's gonna happen. They want you to. All right. Let me move on because I forgot my my train of thought. Now how the fuck did this metamorphosis happen? From standing on corners and porches just rapping to having a fortune, no more kissing ass. But then these critics crucify you. Journalists try to burn you. Fans turn on you. Attorneys all gonna turn it through to get their hands on every dime you had. They want you to lose your mind every time you mad, so they can try to make you out to look like a loose cannon. Any dispute won't hesitate to produce handguns. That's why these prosecutors wanna convict me. Just to get me off of these streets quickly But all they kids be listening to me religiously So I'm signing CDs while police figure break me They for the judge's daughter but it's grudges against me If I'm such a fucking menace this shit doesn't make sense Yeah, so he's talking to all these suburban white kids or whatever White kids and it's a problem But if it was kept in a black neighborhood over here with us it's not a problem. So that's what he's bringing to the light. You got to pay attention to his bars. He's not snitching. He's just bringing like, this is the problem. This is a double standard. Nigga, this nigga M is a genius, bro. That's why I'm signing CDs while police fingerprint me. And they're trying to say, since you want to be in the black culture so bad, we're going to treat you like one of them Nick. And that's not what he's saying. His lyrics, it's super explicit. Like he, Mm, mm, mm. You don't hesitate to produce hair guns. That's why these prosecutors want to convict me. Sweet. And then he compared his lyrics to uh, niggas creating guns. 
Like my lyrics are deli, but y'all out here creating the stuff that's really de nigga. We are catching those. We just to get me off of these streets quickly, but all they kids be listening to me religiously. So I'm signing CDs while police fingerprint me. They for the judges caught it, but it's grudges against me. If I'm such a fucking menace, this shit doesn't make sense, B. It's all political. If my music is literal and I'm a criminal, how the fuck can I raise a little girl? I couldn't, I wouldn't be fit to. You're full of shit too, Carrera. That was a bitch that hit you. If my music is literal, and I'm such a criminal, how the fuck can I raise a little girl? Couldn't. I wouldn't be fit to. Which is correct. If he's, if he's everything that he said he is, how is he waiting Haley J to be the beautiful woman she is, round woman she is? Bruh. <laughs> I keep talking about him yeah, because I keep giving him material. I don't care how much. That's why I don't, I don't care what nobody say about him. Because he can defend himself. But I know the more people that talks, the more material he's going to come out with. So continue to talk. Because he's going to address it as something nigga. You don't need no defense. I don't, like I said, sometimes I don't know about some of them stands going crazy. He don't need you to defend him. He's fine. He got it. Don't worry about it. Just support him. But don't go too overboard to make people hate you. Be like, don't make people hate him because you're you were like a super, super duper fan. You know? Like I said, I've been a lot of stands and some of them are dope. And some of them are just like, whoa, I'm not even going to engage in conversation with you. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I caught that John Guerrero uh, bar. That's when he went to court about assault. Um, yeah, he went to court about assault. Knowing him, he probably made a song about it. <laughs> no idea. No idea. I remember that, though. Walking in with the black suit on and all that stuff, with the blonde hair or whatever. You know what color that was, Slim Shady. I wouldn't be fit to. You're full of shit too, Carrera. That was a bitch that hit you. said earlier nigga eminem when eminem paints like i'm looking directly at the video but i'm not even paying attention to it i'm like picturing it in my head that's why i like to do the videos i mean the songs without the videos because i like to paint the picture myself <laughs> this is dope he just explained what i said about the when he said in the first verse about the gun I only got one gun on something like that only one, don't no one know me, but nigga. And the next time you was all And then he said, if you load up a, a musical art to moves and a, what do you say, musical art to moves and a, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm messing that up. I gotta, I gotta hear that again. I gotta hear that again. <laughs> Yeah, they say music ought to move and talk to you, but can load a gun for you and cock it too. So you basically say what I'm saying shouldn't make you want to go kill somebody, but it's a double entendre. Somebody that follows you and idolizes you, what you're saying is going to make them want to be just like you. So they go and think that you're rapping, which you're like, they believe that you're, you're rapping about what you're really doing. So they try to be just like you. So they go and do it. That's just how it is. But he basically saying, uh, so people are like, he's, he's talking to his people, white people. Since I'm saying this, it shouldn't make you want to go do that. This is just rap. That's it. He's explaining, like, addressing these niggas in a lyrical way that the beat grabs them. And then you just bob your head to it. 
but it's gonna, it's, you're not going to catch it on first, second, and third listen. It could be one of those days when the song is on, and then you're going to be like, oh, okay. And then you're just going to bob your head to it, and then you're going to, wait a minute, he's saying all this? Hold on, rewind that. And then that's when you start to catch it, because that's why Eminem's music is like low-key time. It's because you always catch a new shit. This nigga. He, he, he attracting the right people. He knows exactly who you're talking to. Well, if you can, and the next time you assault to do, just tell the judge it was my fault, and I'll get sued. See, what these kids do is hear about us toting pistols, and they want to get one because they think this shit's cool. Not knowing we really just protecting ourselves, we entertain us. Of course, the shit's affecting our sales, you ignoramus. But music is reflection of self, we just explain it. And then we get our checks in the mail, it's fucked up, ain't it? How we can come from practically nothing to being able to have any fucking thing that we wanted, that's why we... Sing for these kids who don't have a thing Except for a dream and a fucking rat magazine Who post pinup pictures on their walls all day long Idolize their favorite rappers and know all they songs Or for anyone who's ever been through shit in their lives So they sit and they cry at night Wishing they died So they throw on a rap record And they sit and they vibe with nothing to do But with the fucking shit in their eyes You see, he's, now he's talking He said, this nigga's a damn genius he he knows how to separate, like when like I love people when they do rap and they do a great storytelling. He knows how to separate separate slash transition to talking about something so smoothly that you don't even notice it. So that first part he was talking about the people that's going following him, listen to the words, following the other rappers, listen to their words, and try to be like them. Then he transitioned like slowly but but surely transitioned to the people to everybody as a whole, like. This is for the people that's been like down on their luck and then they throw in their music. And then you just send me your vibe because a lot of music can change moods and art to you. But talk to you. They can't, which it can't really it really does that. Because music has changed my life. Music has saved me a lot because without music, I don't know what like I'm, without music, I don't know where a lot of people would be at. I don't even know where this nigga would be at. He'd probably be like I said, he'd probably be a killer. I said in a, in a couple of videos of mine, he probably would have been a killer if it wasn't no damn damn music for him to vent. But that shit is dope because it brings everybody together. And then on top of that, while he's talking to everybody else, he actually talking to himself because he's talking about his childhood. Anybody knows about his childhood. He talked about his childhood on that relapse album, which I got to finish. I'm procrastinating. I know. I know. <laughs> he talked about his childhood on a relapse and the drug addiction and all that stuff. So he's talking to himself about Nick sitting on a rap record and you sitting there by nigga. So he's talking to us, talking to himself. That's so dope. That's so dope. At night, wishing they died, so they throw on a rap record and they sit and they vibe with nothing to do but with the fucking shit in their eyes. That's why we seize the moment, try to freeze it and own it, squeeze it and hold it. Cause we consider these minutes golden. And maybe they'll admit it when we're gone. Just let our spirits live on through our lyrics that you hear in our songs and we can. pretty much gonna play out i can tell that already but look man he's talking to everybody sing for the moment basically trying to freeze it in time that's why he said freeze it and own it because when they when they know they got you with a song or they know they have a hit or they have the little the little time where they in the spotlight they try to get as much as they can out of it problem with him is he's never really out the spotlight this is uh this is a dope ass song sing for the moment and then he grabbed my attention for the whole four minutes and 50 seconds or whatever how long the song was <laughs> this nigga's dope this is dope storytelling man this is this, i'm glad y'all picked this one but can we kind of try to make these uh pose i'm gonna try to pick better song I, I am like i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna figure out a formula i'm telling you it's happening so we can make these like a actual battle it come down to the wire
<laughs> this shit has been a landslide. <laughs> uh, I got. I think I got something. I think I, think I got something for the next one. I got. I think I got something for the next one. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I got something for y'all. I think. I think this one might be. I think this one might be challenging. I got something for y'all. Holler. <laughs>